Coachman Bunkhouse 288 BHS Apex Lightweight uh, Half Ton Towable, easily half ton towable, potentially SUV towable camper here at Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this represents uh, the, the little smaller guy on in Coachman's uh, lightweight segment. That being said, this is a pretty common size in the RV business, a super slide and a 28, 27 footer. Um, this is a Summit, well this is actually an Elite and a Summit edition however. So what I'm getting at is there's some upgrades on here that are not standard stuff. I'm going to try to point out some of those as we go. Um, so keep in mind, this is kind of in a sense generic stock footage and uh, I'm going to try to show you where this is uh, alike and different from the other things you might see on the market. Every trailer is the best out there for a different reason, I really honestly believe that. Um, I'll show you where I think Apex does a good job. I, there's some areas they do a great job that is just really hard to beat in this class. So Summit Edition, well pardon me, Elite Series, adds this uh, front cap and it's fully automotive painted. So this has got the same paint on it as your car. It's not going to get faded and chalky like the colored caps they were using back in 2012 and 13. You're not going to run into that problem. Uh, we've got nicer slam latch baggage doors here, and this is sweet. These are true one-hand operation because they're slam latch, and you can see that they're magnetically held back. Now, that's a fully insulated laminated door. Um, that means that, you know, right above this fully finished pass-through storage space, and keep in mind, this is the wider baggage doors in here. Oh, i got to clean my lens. Pardon me. Sorry. It's kind of misty out here, and it's getting caught a little bit. That's better. So this is fully finished, by the way. You, you notice you don't see raw exposed wood. Nothing on here is like forgotten or left to chance everything on this is premeditated like they insulate that baggage door so that at night because your bed is right up front here it's not gonna uh you know all your heat won't spill out if you're spring or fall camping we like to put power tongue jacks on these it does have a power awning i think it's a summit package add some led lighting to that right there so you've got everything you could really want here uh the uh spare tire they mount that up front for load equalization purposes it helps reduce the uh you know bouncing and jouncing you might uh, receive in transit um this does have an enclosed uh underbelly so it'll be good for those little snap freezes and extending your camping season even little stuff like this again the not just the the stuff that looks shiny but the stuff that matters from a, a nuts and bolts perspective is all present here if you look at the side of the slide out walls it's really gritty and it's pulling that seal as tight as it can so that the seal doesn't get crimped halfway in or out. That means that uh, if the seal's crimped, even if there's nothing wrong with the trailer, you got a leak. Now you don't have that potential. They don't even have the potential of doing that on here. Uh, good looking aluminum wheels because everybody knows that shiny means better. And uh, extra storage below the rear bunk section here is nice. Um, the uh, quick utilities uh, stuff here to show you. We do have a nice black tank flush. We do have all of our hookups and everything back here in the back corner. Our dump valves and everything are in the back corner because this back corner is where all of your park hookups are going to be. So they make sure they put all that back here. They don't put it all the way to the front. Again, just the little detail stuff. They use better plug caps on their on their uh, rear bumpers here. Um, the, the common little uh, caps on those uh, bumpers, I've seen them fall out coming from the factory and we only live an hour from where these things are built i don't have that problem on my apexes i never have to file a claim on a missing bumper cap they just use a better one it costs a dollar more but it's better you know it's kind of like their their sidewall construction first of all this thing is all aluminum framed everywhere aluminum everything in in the structure of, of the coach itself obviously steel beams frame but aluminum uh body within the walls um it's also Interestingly, both pinch rolled and then vacuum laminated, it's double bonded, which I've not really encountered elsewhere in the RV business. But what they do is they glue the wall together and they pinch roll it real quick to set it in place. Then they vacuum bond it to cure it, which makes this thing about the strongest wall you're going to find out there. Little smart stuff too, like they'll put a strut on the door so it doesn't fly open against the side of the camper and smack into your trailer and wake everybody up. But also the little second door direct to the bathroom, that is everybody's best friend. This is gonna cut down so much dirt and junk from getting uh, tracked in the camper, it's not even funny. So again, push button power awning. If it's raining at night and you wake up, you don't even gotta put on pants and you can roll up your awning. How cool is that? Nobody likes put, that's the whole reason I like ordering pizza. I don't even gotta put on pants and I can eat out. <laughs> Um, they use Asdel in the walls, and uh, Asdel is actually the layer you see right here. It's this white stuff. It's it's the layer right under the fiberglass. It's 50% lighter than plywood. It has a, a two higher R factor, so this has the same insulation as a two-inch wall in an inch and a half ultralight wall. Um, it's also uh, greener, 
you know, it's made out of plastic pop bottles. It's recycled. So, you know, you, you can't go enjoy the great outdoors if there's no great outdoors to go enjoy. Um, the uh, little things like this, like we have a little accent light above these cabinets here. That's part of like the, uh, the summit package that we have in here. And uh, let me go through and click on a couple more lights. And you're going to see just a night and day difference. Once you get a few of these turned on, this girl lights right up and is so bright and shiny. Uh, what I like too is you can kind of have as many or as few lights as you want. And they got lights all over the place in this thing. If you want to light it up in here, you can. I mean, look at the difference that makes. They have very good quality lighting in here. Back to construction real quick. I don't want to forget this because this is important to me. This has a laminated walk-on roof. You know, you can walk all over this thing, no problem. Now, they actually use a snap-in batten strip right here. It clicks into place. It's not a wooden batten strip that is stapled up. With those stapled ones on a, on a trailer like this that has a very um, uh, a lot of aluminum in the frame, it will condense and expand a lot in the hot and the cold. Well, that will cause the roof to change shape, like if you squeeze a beer can or something like that, or pop can, pardon me, depends on what, what you're after anyway. Soda can. You know, up here in Michigan we say pop, most of the world says soda or coke. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It will, uh, those wooden batten strips will pop down and, and dangle down and they look like crap. That can't happen to this. And even if by some miracle chance it does, it just goes and clicks right back into place. It's as idiot proof as it can get. And that's the kind of, in, you know, construction and ideology you're going to see in a lot of your Apex stuff here. It, it, it makes it like, so if something does happen to pop out of place, it can snap back into place. They don't use a lot of stuff that only gets built right one time. So this is a jackknife sofa, can uh, fold down into a bed if you are so inclined. One of the things I like about this though, in the, uh, I think it's a Summit series, anytime you have a sofa, you get this nice little fleece blanket. It is cozy. I don't know, I don't know what fleece is. I don't know if it's synthetic. I don't know if an animal makes it. I know that stuff is warm and it puts me to sleep. I like it. So we have a very traditional sofa and galley slide or kitchen. They call it galley in the marine industry, sometimes in the RV business. And that gives us this big walkable floor space, but it doesn't take as much weight as a lot of the other slide systems, so it's really efficient. We've got great drawer space and cabinet space below. You can, you can really pack this sucker up. And you have a lot more countertop space than you realize, and I can show you. If you look at this stovetop, these are all the same size. These are standard in the RV business. So look behind it. Look at how much countertop space you have behind this thing. It's huge. They're also using American stone cast sinks. They're not using plastic. I like this because if you're boiling water over here, pour it right in the sink. Does not cause problems. And you see that we do have a little pull-out sprayer faucet here. Um, I mentioned the LED lights. I mentioned the laminated roof. We have we naturally do have central air to keep you cool in the summertime. I love this. You have a huge shoe garage right next to the entry door. And in a bunkhouse like this, I'm willing to bet you got a lot of people and a lot of shoes to deal with. And if you didn't have this, you would have a big pile of shoes by the door. And if you've got an older bunkhouse that doesn't have a shoe garage, I bet you got a pile of shoes by the door. While we're here, though, it's, it's nice to point out in the kitchen, here in the living room, in the bathroom, everywhere, they use sealed edge press membrane countertops. There's no seam where water can get in here and cause sponging and swelling and failure. Um, naturally, your dinette will fold down into a sleeper. There's easy storage under this one with that door over there. Uh, man, more lights over here I didn't even turn on. I don't think I need them. This is something that's not commonly found in, in uh, the light, well, really in a lot of the RV industry, not just lightweights. But you have vented and louvered vents. That means that we can turn them and we can shut them off individually. So there's an AC vent right above this bed. If it's freezing the kit out, flip it shut. It'll just redirect the airflow like it would in your car. One of my favorite parts of this floor plan is this giant cabinet, closet, whatever you want it to be over here. You can easily sleep eight people, maybe more if you get comfy with one another uh, in this floor plan. You got to keep all their stuff. Another neat thing, all the sleeping spaces have their own stands with power outlets and their own lights. Everybody gets their own little slice of privacy in this world. They're also using thicker bunk mats in here. And, you know, even if you lift up the bunk mats, this is real wood. That's plywood. It's not particle board or OSB. You know, they don't expect you to look under here. So they could probably save money by using an inferior product there, but that's not what they're about. And that's why their bunks have higher capacities. That's a 300 pound per sleeping space capacity on the top. And they don't even need to rate the bottom because it's over what people can realistically do with it. Um, a built-in bunk ladder is also a nice little thing so you don't need to throw the kids to the upper bunk. It's just here when you need it, gone when you don't. 
kind of saw the bathroom from outside, I'll just give you a quick little tour over here. Foot flush stool and uh, a skylight with a vent fan separate, not uh, kind of mashed together there. Um, spinning around a little bit here. I kind of want to steal that blanket and just wrap up with it in my office. It's kind of cold and drizzly today. It'd be nice to wrap up in that blanket. I like this big window. This is one of my favorite parts of this specific floor plan because this big window is looking right out under your awning. It's looking at your fire pit. It's looking at your picnic table. It's looking at the kids or grandkids bopping around. It's exactly where you want it. Um, you know, it's got good windows over here for cross breeze too. I see a lot of campers though. All the windows are on this side in the slide out. And there's almost no windows over here because there's usually a kitchen there. That doesn't make sense to me because I can't see out of my camper. We do have sliding privacy doors, not just curtains. We also do have a spinning TV here. And uh, they put these extra little rubber guys on here so that when it is closed, you can't peek around the TV. When they first started doing spinning TVs, some customers were reporting that uh, the kids were spying on mom and dad when mom and dad were hugging. And mom and dad didn't like that. So... They kind of added some privacy tools in here. Now this is made for modern folks. There are at least six USB outlets in this thing. There are four right here. There are two more in the headboard in the bedroom so you can keep all your devices charged up all the time. Now we have uh, um, Jensen TV and combination Bluetooth uh, DVD system. You pop the disc in, you play the movie on your television, it plays your inside outside speakers. It just does everything for you. And they do leave easy access if you want to start plugging in extra devices over here. Um, as we step in the uh, bedroom, big thing I want to point out is again, this recessed headboard with uh, double USB outlets right there. So you can like use your phone and, and charge devices right in here. And also there are power outlets um, around the uh, sides of the bed there. You see that white outlet. So you have areas for CPAPs, charging phones, hanging clothes. They do give you overhead storage instead of just a shelf. This is an actual big deep cabinet and it's up high enough. You're not going to bang your head on it even if you're a tall clumsy ox like me. So yeah, I'm a fan. I, I give this one the thumbs up. This is a, I mean, oh, 5,192 pounds. Holy crap. You've seen other campers laid out like this. I have no doubt this is a popular floor plan, but 5,200 pounds in something that's really well built? I mean, what else can you punch the roof in like that? Not many campers. This is slick. And, you know, it's, it's stuff like this. That's real wood. You know, they're, they're just using better stuff everywhere, guys. And it's you can see other campers that look like this, but they don't perform like this. I don't get used apexes in because once people have one, they won't give them up. It treats people so well, they don't come back to my shop. That's what I like about them. Um, oh, by the way, this is called the Latte Color Scheme. And this may be different on the one we have in stock. There's uh, Latte, Cayenne, Shadow, all kinds of different color patterns. This just happens to be the one in this video. So if you like the camper, but you don't like the fabrics, I got another one for you. Don't even worry about that. We keep a ton of stuff in stock. 800 256 5196 Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.